to my regular subscribers who subscribe to my channel, just because you like to watch uh, my videos about antiques and metal detecting, I apologize. This is, I guess, for the newer people that um, are thinking about buying one of these projector lights from Amazon. This is another one I just got in. Now, I did a series of reviews on different models to show you how they all work. This one is the Billy Yip brand. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Uh, Starlight projector. And Amazon, what sort of aggravates me is they stuck a piece of prime tape on it. I hope this isn't a return that I'm getting. Um, so let's open it up and look inside and see what it looks like. But I wonder why they stuck a piece of Am Amazon tape across the box. Now, if you wanted to give this as a gift, say you sent it to somebody, that would look sort of crappy um, with that tape covering up what the box looks like. Um, so uh, here's what the box looks like. You'll get it and it'll come like this. Um, if you want to give it as a gift, heed to you. It might come with an ugly strip of prime tape on it. And this is also a Bluetooth speaker as well, besides a projector. All right, so it comes with instructions. And uh, pretty much the lights that my stomach is growling. Oh, my God, how embarrassing. All right, <laughs> you got a, f a new feature uh, with the light. It's growling stomach mode. Okay, so um, these instructions are pretty much useless as tits on a bull. Excuse my expression. Um, it's pretty much most people just throw them away. And then they get frustrated when the light doesn't work the way they want to. Now, it does come with a cord. Um, it comes with USB-A on one end. And it comes with uh, USB-C on the other end. And But the problem is with these cords that they come with, I'm going to warn you if you're buying one of these lights, they're only about three feet long. So when you go to plug them into your wall, um, it's a bad idea because you want to keep these lights generally in the center of the room to cast it throughout the whole entire room. So I have a hack for that. The hack is to get a long 10-foot cord, and you can get these for $8, $7, $6 on Amazon with a USB-A on one end and a USB-C on the other end. So that's uh, actually the way that you can fix the problem of a three-foot cord. Um, it does not come with a wall charger, I will warn you. Um, most of them don't. So you have to have a USB, oops, and of course a blooper on camera. Um, you have to have a USB-A a wall charger that's laying around your house. It does come with a remote. Again, it does not come with the two AAA batteries. That's another warning for you guys. So you're going to have to supply the wall charger and the batteries. Um, it comes with a stand. And that's great because most of these lights, the problem is, is that they're only stationed in one position. And that's towards like facing up the ceiling. And you're not going to be able to cast it to the wall unless you prop it up against the wall or something. And then it falls down and then you have a problem. But this comes with a stand and it's a ball. And it can be moved in 360 degrees. So in a bunch of different positions. So if you want to aim it at only one spot or you want to have it light up the walls and the ceiling instead of just the ceiling, this is actually a great feature. Now, I haven't tried it out yet. We have two laser lights. This is um, this has a cloud and a moon feature and stars. So it's incorporated in these two areas here. Then you have your LED light, which casts the, the uh, different colors throughout it. Um, if you turn it, we have different modes on here. If you lose your remote, you can press the buttons. Um, we do have, this is where the remote would receive. So you have to aim the remote at this area for it to work. And a lot of people complain the remote doesn't work. It's because you're not aiming it there. <laughs> uh, what else does it have? This looks like, yeah, this is the speaker. Is there any other features on here? It has actually two spots for the speaker. Okay, over here, this is where you plug in. Now, another thing, people say the light didn't work. And it's because they plugged in the outlet uh, incorrectly. They thought this was the power um, port, and that's not. That's for a memory stick. So if you have a memory stick with your playlist, you can actually uh, use that to put the memory stick in to listen to music. This is where you plug it in for the power. So you would use this end of the cord to plug it in and the USB-A for the wall charger. So uh, that's a thing that you guys should uh, notate. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect the Bluetooth speaker, see how loud it is, and play around with the remote and see how well this light works. So I'll see you guys as soon as nightfall uh, begins. So 
So you can get rid of the moon by hitting um, the moon button on the top right hand corner. It's a red button. And there we go. It's gone, right? So ta-da. Now we'll bring it back and it's back. And uh, so, you know, if you don't like that feature, you don't have to have it. Now, as you can see right now, we have the uh, stars that are just fading in and out. And you can hit the top. Um, actually, you'll see a laser mode button. And I can't show it to you right now. But if you hit that, now the stars are steady. And they're not going to twinkle in and out. You hit it again, the stars are gone. You can take the moon away. And... You can do one color or you can do several colors. You can have this uh, frozen so it's not swirling around or you can have it uh, moving around. So I'm gonna bring the moon back and I'm gonna bring the stars back. And now we have it in twinkle where it fades in and out or we have it at steady. All right, so this comes with a timer built in so it automatically shuts off after one hours or two hours. You can choose that on the remote. Now I have a flashlight for that. It's on the bottom row. And in the center, you can shut the timer off so it does not shut off. So you can keep it on at all times. Now, it's very hard to master this remote. So I'm doing it in the pitch black dark with a flashlight, as you can see here. And I'm going to try my best to actually show you what this looks like. So we're in a mode where it blinks into different colors. Um, and that's uh, really pretty. You can hit the S plus mode to make the little motor inside of it make the color swirl around or you can hit the s minus to slow it down or you can hit the s in the center to stop it so let's make it swirl and as you can see we can go into different speeds we can go faster and then i'm going to go into the s minus mode and go slower we can do that and then we can pause it so now we paused it to um where it doesn't swirl around now you can go into different colors and uh, let's go for instance, let's go into, I can't even see, the white mode. And you get it with uh, like two different colors, but you can change it by hitting fade one. Let me go into fade one and now you can get one color. Um, it automatically fades in and out of different colors, but you can stop that by pausing it. Let me just hit the R button and this is also another feature um, it could just go into the stars and the moon and the clouds when I hit R we go straight to red when I hit um, G we're gonna go to green and I'm gonna hit F1 or fade one and then go into green and then we can go solid then I'm gonna hit F1 again and we're gonna go straight to blue and bear with me there we go I'm gonna hit F1 or fade one again and go straight into white and there we go. And then you can make it move around. So I'm going to hit the S plus button. And let's go to blue. And you can have the different color blue. So it will swirl in and out of colors. Um, you can make it steady blue by going into F1. And then hitting B for blue. And the same thing with all the colors. You go into F1 mode, um, which is one color. And hit the different um, R for red, uh, G for green. B for blue or W for white. Now we also have a thing called party mode, but before we get into party mode, I just wanna go into different colors. And so we're gonna like swirl around here and we're gonna go into different colors and you can see that and it's moving around. You can also pause it, like I said, by hitting the S zero button in the center. And there we go, we go to pause and it will go in and out of colors, but it won't be swirling around on your ceiling. But you can also pause it to one color only, which is great. Okay, so we're going to go into party mode. First, I want to make this swirl around. Okay. And party mode is this, right on the center of the remote. So let's go into party mode. Now, it's going to make you a little sick. So if you're drinking or <laughs> high on pot right now or weed or whatever the hell you kids call it. Yeah, I'm dating myself. Um, you're going to probably throw up and pass out. One, two, three. You ready? And what just happened? Why is party mode not working? Hold on, I gotta find it. Oh, cause I'm an idiot. It's the microphone right there. All right, let's try this again. And there you go, instant seizure mode. You press it again and it's gonna go off. <laughs> so there you go. All right, what other features do we have? Um, we can hit the LED button and that's the center red one. And 
Let's try it. And now we just have like basically a night light. You hit it again, and then you got all these colors swirling in and out. You hit F2, and we'll get different colors. And they're gonna swirl in and out of each other. So that's the basic functions of this. Now, you can move it around 360 degrees since it's actually um, a ball on a stand. And I'm gonna block you from seeing the rest of my room because I'm a total pig and I don't want you to see how messy I am. So hold on. And there we go. That's what it looks like. You can see some of my crystals. <laughs> and uh, so what you can do is you can cast it on the wall or just the ceiling or in different positions and hang on there one second all right yeah don't want you to see what a pig on, and a slob i am and i'm going to show you how you can move this around you just move the ball and you can put it in different parts of your room you can have it at the ceiling only or you can have it on your curtain you can have it over here you can have it over there so there you go this is actually a good backdrop if you're a youtuber and a vlogger um you can have like a cool light effect behind you on the wall um, so that's another goodie. And yeah, this video is going too long right now, but I will tell you one thing about this. Now, in my description below, I have tried out about at least six different lights and I did reviews on all of them. So you can compare the different features and how well this uh, coverage, uh, you know, the coverages of this. This one does not have nearly half as good of a coverage as the other ones I have used. Um, this is more for a small room. And your best uh, viewing of this light is with your door shut in complete darkness. Like if you have LED light strips, um, it's gonna actually inhibit this. It's gonna make it less dramatic. So the smaller the room with the door shut, the better. So there you go. Um, now this one retails anywhere is between, I've seen it for like $17 all the way up to $50. Um, they can be quite pricey, but you can find a deal. Um, there's a lot of sellers selling the same light under different brands, but it's the same exact one. So um, just search around and you'll finally find it for the cheapest. The cheapest I've ever seen it was about $17 on Amazon. So uh, there you go. There's my review. I give it only a three and a half star out of five um, because its coverage isn't as good. And the stars on the other ones, there's like millions of stars as opposed to this one is pretty scant when it comes to the stars. It's a little stingy. And after a while, the moon and the stars, I'm sorry, the, the moon and the cloud um, has burn in effect and you'll only see a white round silhouette casted on the ceiling. Um, it does have burnout problems and issues after using this for X amount of time. You'll lose the moon and the stars eventually. And I just saw a, mis <laughs> a moth just fly past. Uh, I think the moth likes the light. All right, guys. See you soon. So long.